Please watch out. Spoilers ahead. A pregnant woman and her husband go to the hospital for a checkup and a painful event takes place for her but it was all just a dream. She goes to meet a therapist and after that she picks up her deaf child from school. They seem like a happy family but she's touched by her daughter from her desire of having a little sister. So they decide to adopt a child. The next day they go to an orphanage where they will meet Esther, a smart and mature nine-year-old child from Russia who had her parents die in a house fire. The couple decide to adopt her and come back after three weeks to take her home. They go home where Esther meets the other members of her new family. They all welcome her but the oldest son Daniel starts to feel a bit jealous. She seemed to feel comfortable in her new home, and the other day she goes to school where one of her classmates, Brenda, make fun of her and Esther put a deadly stare on her. Later on Daniel is playing outside with his paintball gun and he hits a pigeon and almost kills it. Esther comes and puts it out of its misery with no hesitation. Kate finds a Bible in Esther's room where she sees a picture of a man. She puts it back in place and leaves but Esther have seen her watch the picture. The next day at school she keeps being bullied by her brother and Brenda. Later that day at home Kate tells her about Jessica and makes Esther emotional. She catches the couple making love in the kitchen and Kate goes to talk with her about what they were doing, but she already knew and used an inappropriate word. Then Kate suggests that they should take her to Dr. Browning, but John tells her to not be worried about one word that Esther said. She goes to the park with John and Max where she sees Brenda. She gives her a long stare which causes Brenda to experience paranoia and be scared from any noise or movement until Esther shows from behind and throws her off the slide and breaks her ankle. Kate and John discuss it later where they happen to have a heated debate with each other. The next morning Sister Abigail shows up at their house where they discuss about Esther, about events that took place and she could have been the one behind them and Kate keeps insisting that she's lying about many things but John keeps trusting Esther. Esther is hearing them while hiding where she takes Max outside and wait for Sister Abigail to leave. As she's leaving Esther pushes Max to the road where Abigail avoids hitting her and crashes into a tree. She gets out of the car to check on Max but she gets murdered by Esther with a hammer. Esther hides the evidences inside the treehouse where Daniel happens to see her getting out of there. As Daniel is sleeping, Esther enters the room and threatens him to not tell anybody what he saw. Later that day she is taken to Dr. Browning where she turns out to be completely normal. After they arrive home, Kate finds out sister Abigail never made it back home so the police is called and Abigail's body was found dead under a bridge. Kate immediately suspected Esther of being the killer so she makes some research online about children who kill. She shows her research to John but he doesn't seem to believe what she says. Kate calls the Russian orphanage with the hope of getting any info about Esther but there is none. John and Esther have some time alone and John suggests that she should surprise Kate with something. Later that night she surprises her with the roses that were at Jessica's memorial and Kate breaks down. Esther goes to the basement and crushes her own arm and pretends to have gotten her arm broken by Kate. Kate is emotionally stressed and by some wine but decides to not go back to her old self. Next morning she takes the children to school where Kate gets out of the car distracted by Daniel and Esther goes into the driving seat and puts the car in neutral and pulls off the brake where the car will revert back and Kate will panic while running after the car. The car crashes into snow and Max is alright. John calls Dr. Browning and they have a meeting with Kate where they accuse her of being reckless and drinking again and John threatens her that if she doesn't go to rehab he will take the kids and leave the house. Daniel goes into Max's room asking if she knows anything about Esther and Max shows him the paintings that she made and tells him what is hidden in the treehouse but he has no idea that Esther heard everything behind the door. Kate goes into Max's room where she confronts Esther there, Esther starts reminding Kate of her past and Kate can't take any of that so she tells her to shut up. Next morning Daniel goes up to the treehouse and finds it unlocked. Esther enters from behind and puts the house in fire and locks Daniel inside. Daniel makes it out and falls on the ground unconscious and Esther is there with a rock trying to finish him but Max prevents her to do so. They take Daniel to the hospital where Esther will once again try to finish Daniel and almost achieves it. 
Kate then hits Esther on the face and starts breaking down as doctors put her to sleep. John and the kids are back in home. Esther dresses as an older woman trying to charm John, but John does not fall for it. He tells her to go back to her room. She then goes to her room where she goes insane. Kate gets a call from Sarni Institute based in Estonia about Esther. She is told that Esther's real name is Lena and she is 33-year-old woman with a hormone disorder. One year ago she tried to trick the husband of a family which she failed, leading to her murdering that family. Kate very concerned drives back home and finds John stabbed to death. She goes to Mac's room if she is alright but doesn't find her anywhere, then she checks the bathroom where she gets shot by Esther. Kate acts quick and hides in the room where she has to go outside the window to hide. Max hides in the conservatory where she accidentally breaks a vase and lets Esther know where she is. Kate is watching Max from the roof and tells her to hide. Esther finds Max and Kate tries to distract her as Max is running away. After a few shots Kate falls off the roof onto Esther where she is left unconscious. Kate takes Max with her and goes outside as cops are entering the building and as they're checking, Esther's body is gone. Kate and Max as they think they are out of danger, Esther comes running from behind and tries to stab her. Kate puts a fight and does not give up until Esther is almost about to stab her. In that moment, Max takes the gun and fires at the pond making the ice break where Kate and Esther fall inside. They put up a fight but Kate finally manages to get out alive and kick Esther inside the frozen pond. Then Kate and her daughter finally have a reunion with no danger coming to them. This is one of our first projects so we would appreciate if you guys subscribe and like the video. There's many more interesting movies to come. Peace.